Mad Magazine's official Spy vs. Spy. First Star Software. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm your friend and neighbor of Let's Play Your Spider Man. I welcome you to Let's Play Spy vs. Spy. If you never read any Mad Magazine, then you wouldn't know what these guys are. But if you have, good for you. Mad Magazine was the shit back in the 80s. I remember my brother was actually a uh, subscriber to Mad Magazine. We got a lot of those, and I still have a poster on my door from 1993, which is Mad Goes USA. It is the map of the United States. So I can always tell where all the states are of the USA. It's a good help for me whenever there is something on the internet about the US uh, state of the United States. So I can always look over there and then go, oh yeah, that's where Wyoming is, or something like that. Anyway, Mad Magazine is apparent, was, and is, I think it still is, a parody magazine. All kinds of parodies of movies, and also they had all kinds of Ridic ridiculous cartoon strips like this. Spy vs. Spy was one of the uh, big hits on the magazine. It was just two spies doing all kinds of uh, tricks tricks on each other, just killing them, killing each other in horrendous ways. So it was very easy to put them into a game. Your mission is to get um, get some items for yourself while triggering while tricking the other spy to die in most horrendous ways while you try to gather all the items. And then you need to skedaddle. Find the final door and get out of here. That's your mission. And this is also demo mode, I'm not playing really. Level of difficulty. Let's put it to two. The IQ of the computer is up to five. If you put it up to five, then the computer is super smart. And pretty much the AI is in this game is so good that even on, especially on level five, if you put the IQ to five, he's as smart as a real player. But if you put it down to one, he's as stupid as a... I don't know... A shoe? A pan? And as you can see, the difficulty of the level depends on how many rooms there will be, how many total traps available, and also how many minutes. Yes, there is a time limit on each level. Uh, the difficulty is 8 is max, and that is 36 rooms to look for four item, uh, 5 items. That's a hell of a lot of searching to do, while trying to avoid or kill the other spy. In the end, you can actually kill the other spy. Because every time you die, time will be retracted from your clock. And once your own time runs out, you will be dead. For sure. For ever. Completely. Now, I will put... Uh, maybe I will take this, level 2. Because uh, this is only just to show what the game is. This is, a lot, this is a lot better game when you play with two players, actually. You can really dick against the other player in so many ways. And it's also a lot of fun because of what you can do here. My number of players two one two one. Nah, I'll make it I'm I'll make the computer a little smarter. Let's make it a little more challenging for myself. Hide airport till the end? Yes. Because there is a door. If you don't hide the airport, you will know where what room it will be, but if you hide it, then you have to collect all the items before this door will appear. And you will not know what room it will be in. You'll just have to look around for the door. It'll be, you know, easy to find because it's a it's a door with a plane on it. That will take you to the hidden airport. Don't ask. It's a cartoon. But let's go! Enough explaining, let's go. Yeah. And this is the combat of the game. Just using your batons to beat each other up. Get over here, so I can kill you. And I was, at least I think they're like batons. Or something like that. Come on, die already. He will turn into an angel. Once he is defeated. 
And each hit will take a few seconds out of his time, so you are not just killing him, you're also shortening his time. And once you see that flash, you can open a door. Hey, you're following me? You're really following me? There we go. He's dead. Now I can search. Get out of here. Ah! I got the bag already. That's good. This bag is important because you put the items in here that you need to find. So this is the most important item of all the items that you need to find. Damn it. Damn it. There are also all kinds of tools that you can use to... You know, take care of the traps that the other player may have placed somewhere. And he's chasing me because I have the bag. I knew you were coming. Get over here. I saw that you had a key. Come on, come on. Yeah, he ain't that smart. Now, let's see. Okay, I got the key. And I got the, uh... I think that's the air ticket. Airport ticket. I got that. Now I just need a passport. Well, he's got something. And come on. Come on. Come on! Damn it! I was trying to get a trap to set for him. But it wouldn't let me take it. It wouldn't let me go to the menu to choose a trap. And now he's dead again. Come on. Green, green flash. There. I'm gonna close the door. There. And we take the bucket. Put it on the door. And once he opens that door, he will die! <laughs> See? <laughs> That's one of the traps. You put a bucket of acid on the door and he dies. There's also the spring and the bomb. You can put them into those into these cupboards and everything. Where's the last item? Oh come on. You just want to kill me all the time. Because I have all the items. But I will not let you defeat me. Get over here and die. Come on. Stop uh, jerking around like that. Come on. Stop dancing. Get over here and die. Accept your doom. Whew. Okay. Now let's uh, try and find that last item finally. Finally find the final item. Oh, for fuck's sake, you really need- you really had to spawn right there. Did you? He still only got five minutes left to live, so... I'm sure I will eventually kill him. Come on. Get over here, you son of a bitch! It is getting really tiring on my fingers, just wailing around. On the goddamn joystick. No, I don't it went in here. Also, when you drop, when he enters the room and you drop this bag, it will just teleport randomly into an item in the room. I really hate you. Just die already. Get over here and accept your doom. How many times do I have to say this to you? You will not defeat me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm, I will will this uh, stick around until you die. I will not give up. I really don't know what the weapon is. It, I guess it's some kind of a baton. Or a nightstick. Or something like that. Because he wouldn't be alive if... He wouldn't be alive anymore if this was just a, you know, a sword. Or something like that. Why... Why won't you die? <laughs> God damn! I would've thought he would be dead already, but apparently not. There! Oh, man! 
And now it's warning that he's running out of time, which he is. So, which is good. There it is. Found the cash. Now I just need to find the door. There it is, and I can win! There! Your ranking spy spy again! Woohoo! Yes! And that is how you do that! That is how you win a very stupid AI. <sighs> that was too easy. Let's try something trickier. So in the end you just get points and you can rank them up yourself and see if you can do better. So let's see if I can do better. Let's put it to difficulty 3 and also computer IQ to 4. I'm gonna lose this one. I just know it. But let's go. Because if you can see, it's a lot... I, I was trying to say that the computer is a much smarter fighter and also, a lot much smarter player. Okay. Oh, great. There's two floors. I'm not the... I'm not able to cheat by looking... Oh, he put it on this door? Really? Ugh. I thought he put it on the other door. You can always check the map to see where the items are. That's a, that's the best way actually to go around. When you go to the map here. Like this. You can tell where the items are. The black dots tell you which room they are in. And also, you cannot follow where the other player is. And he's collecting everything. And yes, I did trap that door. I was hoping that I would kill him, and he would be trapped. He would be killed by this trap. But instead, I killed myself. See how I just put two IQ up, and already the game, in the uh, I, computer plays like a real player. I told you I would lose this, but just imagine how hard it is on when it's IQ five. You could say, you could definitely say. <laughs> Quite a sly spy. You could definitely say that when you put the IQ over three, the game cheats. Well, it doesn't really cheat, but it know pretty much uh, if it's uh, IQ level five, it knows exactly where all the items are. It doesn't even need to check the map. As you saw, the computer there checked the map to see where all the items are. But with IQ five, it doesn't need to. It already knows where the items are, so it cheats. Yeah. It's a very unfair game when it comes to that. I've never defeated computer IQ, even if it's three. Three is still smart. It's a really smart I. It's a very smart computer. And as you saw with the uh, computer IQ two, it pretty much goes after you. It follows you and tries to get the items that way to win. But it's not a very good combatant. Or com combatant, or however you pronounce that word. God damn it, forgot now. And also, but if you put the uh, computer's level IQ to one, it is the most stupid computer ever. It doesn't even. It barely can even walk out of a room, or even open a door. That's stupid. How the IQ gets when it's one. So pretty much if you don't if you don't want too much challenge, play with IQ2. But if you want more challenge, play with IQ3. As you see, four is a bitch, and five is a god. Yeah. So anyway, that's enough of that. Hope you enjoyed. Even though I did really badly. I of course I did win the first game, but <laughs> yeah, with the IQ going up. Uh, this game is not easy at all. Even with the huge, uh, this even it with, even with the big maps, IQ four and five will find the items before you can even leave the first room. So anyway, I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.